Hi, my name's Chris, and today we're going to look at the Suji Trost reaction, which is one of our organometallic name reactions for Chem 347. So the Suji Trost involves the connection of a nucleophile and an allyl compound, where these R groups could just be hydrogens, but the important thing is we have a leaving group, one carbon away from our double bond. We have a palladium catalyst, and it's usually under basic conditions. And we can either get substitution retaining stereochemistry or inverting stereochemistry, depending on our nucleophile. So our leaving groups are our halogens, but they can also be acetoxy groups or simpler esters. And our nucleophiles, our soft ones, have a pKa less than 25, and our hard ones have pKa greater than 25. Those are enolates, amines, phenols, etc. So here's an example of a soft nucleophile, and we're gonna look at the mechanism of that right now because the soft ones are the more common thing you'll see in the literature. So let's take a look at the mechanism. So here's our Suji Trost mechanism. We have our reaction from before, and we're gonna start here with our palladium catalyst. So it's gonna do a couple disassociations to get down to only two ligands here, and it's gonna have an oxidation state of zero. Then we're gonna do an association with the owl compound with the bromine leaving group. So this palladium is only associated with these two carbons right now. So it forms an A to two pi owl complex. And then we're going to do an oxidative addition to form an A to three pi owl complex where the palladium is associated with all three of these carbons and the bromine has been added up here. And that gives our palladium an oxidation state of two since both of these are minus one ligands. Then our leaving group is expelled. So the bromine just kind of leaves, which keeps this palladium at an oxidation state of two, but now it's got a positive charge kind of associated with it. So here's where our nucleophile comes in. It's in base, so it's formed to enolate. This swings down, we attack at the carbon where the leaving group was attached and then the associated minus charge that's kind of involved in this swings up onto the palladium. So now we get back up here where our palladium has been restored to a zero oxidation state and our nucleophile has added retaining this stereochemistry because it's a soft nucleophile. Then we do a disassociation and we get our product and our palladium zero catalyst back. All right, we've taken a look at the mechanism. Here's our predict the product problem. So here's our two starting materials. Our reaction conditions are over there. Pause the video, try to work it out if you want. And our product ends up being this right here, where we substituted for the alcohol with our O minus from the sulfate. And that's the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much.